Hey guys! I'm gonna have to turn the Christmas music off because. Hey guys! <laughs> I think it's funny how um, Christmas music is like copyrighted. I understand it's, you know, it's still someone wrote it and they have the rights to it and, what, and whatnot, but it's just like. I don't know. I feel like Christmas music and stuff like that should be like the exception, you know, because it's. I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess whatever. They The artists deserve the right to it and whatnot, but it just sucks as far as making Christmas-themed videos and whatnot because you cannot just put jingle bells up in there. Um, anyway, so hi, guys. It's Christmas Eve. I'll try and get to where you can see me. It's Christmas Eve. Um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Uh, to you guys out there, I think it might actually already be Christmas in some parts of the world. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it's Christmas Eve here in the U.S., the 24th. And so getting into the holiday spirit, I made um, some Oreo balls. Ignore that. That's a cinnamon roll that my mom made this morning. I made some Oreo balls. My aunt usually makes these every year, but this year she didn't want to, so I was like, well... I'm gonna make it um, and basically it's a whole pack of it's really simple it's just a little time consuming it's a whole pack of Oreos um, you can do a few more than that they say 14 to 19 ounces a pack is usually 14 ounces a whole pack of those a thing of softened cream cheese you know just one of those little blocks of cream cheese leave it out for a little bit to soften uh, blend those two together. Um, you should use wax paper, not foil, but I greased it a little bit so hopefully it doesn't stick. And then you melt a whole pack of almond bark and then you don't have to bake it or anything. You just sit the Oreo and cream cheese, let it sit while you do the almond bark, get that ready, and then just dip it and let them sit and then put them in the fridge. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. So I got that ready there. But I, you know, I told you guys I was going to be posting once a week and I was like, oh my god, I don't have a video out this week. So I was like, you know what, let's vlog a little bit for Christmas Eve and just show you guys, you know, what's going on, what I'm doing uh, for the Christmas spirit. So that's what we're going to do. So while I'm waiting for those to dry so I can put them in the fridge, I guess I'll show you just a few of the decorations we've got going on for Christmas 2017. This is the dining room. Um, got lots of gold, red, and a little bit of green. So it looks super pretty. That um, stocking with the flawless, that's mine. <laughs> we used to all have really nice stockings like this one that my parents have, but uh, my dad keeps the Christmas stuff at work and there was a really bad flood and it ruined all of our stuff. So all of this is stuff that's been like recently, re not that recently, but recently-ish repurchased. There's not much going on in here, just one little reindeer. Here, let me turn this light on. <sighs> little reindeer, a little thing going across the bottom and then some trees. This is the music I can't play for copyright reasons. The grand finale. I have to make sure my dog Wigs didn't piss anywhere because she's getting old and can't really control it anymore. We might have to put her on some medicine. Okay, looks good. Um, so this is our tree. And don't be overwhelmed. These are literally presents for everyone in the family not just like the four of us this is for like every every gift we're giving this year it does look like quite a bit but yeah so this is our christmas <laughs> and then there's way she likes to sit in her cage now that she's getting older right woo we don't know why come here come here me goo her leg, she got in a tussle with a possum the other night. It was very traumatizing for me, trying to separate my dog from a possum. Luckily, it didn't bite her. It just kind of scratched. So hopefully, you know, she's up on her rabies shots and everything, but hopefully everything is fine. Um, I do have an announcement. Wigs had to get up here with me. She, like, barely fits, but she's up here. 
um announcement so i got a new tattoo i think i'm yeah i definitely did mention in my christmas gift giving video that me and one of my best friends lee were going to be getting matching tattoos not like with our names or anything but of our favorite symbol which is a pineapple <laughs> so i didn't i don't think i said what it was just in case um, but yeah, it was a pineapple. I know it may seem kind of strange to people to get a pineapple tattoo, but when you think of pineapples, you think of just like something fun and just free and I just like the vibe of pineapples, I guess, and they taste really good. So yeah, and, and I don't know, me and her have just always been obsessed with pineapples. Like it's weird, but yeah, so let me show you the new tat. This is the new tattoo. I have big feet, so. And putting my feet on camera feels really weird. <laughs> but yeah, there's the new tattoo. It's a little bigger. I thought I would just get like a little one like this big, but I was like, you know what? She sketched it out and, you know, I was just like, you know what? I do want a bigger pineapple because I want people to be able to see it, you know? Like, I know it's a tattoo between me and my friend, and that's all who it should matter for, but it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to spend all this money on something, and no one's going to be able to see it except for me. So, yeah, and when I wear sneakers, the top kind of pokes out a little bit, so it's really cute. I got this one, the one I got with my mom, uh, touched up a little bit, some of, so it looks a little strange right now. Some of the letters look a little different, like the F and stuff. I just had her touch it up but yeah so I'm done with tattoos for a while that was my third one there's one more that I was thinking about getting but I don't know if it really relates anymore it's kind of hard to explain but when I was going through a really rough time with me and Josh's last breakup and when I really <laughs> when I was I was you know I just thought we were done for good and was really starting to move on like seeing other people and and really moving on um i i went through like a lot i don't know it, it was just a lot and i don't want to get into all of that right now but there was a quote that really stuck out to me and i was thinking about getting it on my body but i don't first of all i don't know where i'd put it and second of all it's not real exactly relevant right now but yeah and i don't want to say it just because you know I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get it or not or whatever. But yeah, so third tattoo down, ready for Christmas. I'm not sure what else I'm going to be doing today, but whatever it is, you can come along. My parents just went to go see the new Star Wars movie. They asked if I wanted to go. I was like, no, thank you. Because um, the movie theater is actually pretty busy on Christmas Eve. I think a lot of people think it's not, so a lot of people go. And my mom said there was only like a few seats left. They purchased the tickets ahead of time. And the 12 o'clock, you know, because it's a new movie, they're playing it like every half hour to every hour. And the 12 o'clock was the first one available today. So, yeah, I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> Star Wars is great, but it's not. I'm not obsessed with it enough to deal with all that, so the brand new Last Jedi movie that came out, so yeah, I'm just chilling with the dogs, making Oreo balls, enjoying listening to Christmas music, it's, the weather's been amazing here in Florida, it's not cold, obviously, because why would it be cold around Christmas, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, hopefully it's not too boring, and here's Louie, my chihuahua, we're very blessed. I mean, we're blessed to have both of them this Christmas, but um, he's having a lot of health problems. And so we're definitely very blessed that he is still here. Hopefully he'll be here next Christmas and many more Christmases to come. Love you so much, Lou. Oh my goodness. They love each other, but they hate each other too. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna put the balls in here so that they can cool in the fridge there's some you know because I it's my first time doing this I wasn't sure how to dip them so I just used the spoon oh no I'm gonna eat it <laughs> a little piece came off so I wasn't sure exactly the best method for all this stuff not happening but oh well can't be perfect. By the second thing, I got a hang of it. 
so. But this was fun. I would definitely recommend you guys, if you're into baking and cookies, to start a tradition of making Christmas cookies every year because it really is, there's a lot of super easy ones to make. And they taste good. It's something super nice to bring over to your family's houses, you know. Anyway, I think I'm going to start making Christmas cookies every year. Maybe just the Oreo balls every year. I don't know. But I definitely want to continue making cookies every year for my family and stuff. Because it's something that takes a little bit of time. But I think everyone's going to really enjoy these, especially Josh. <laughs> Josh and me are obsessed with these when my aunt would make them. And then now to kind of make them myself is pretty cool. I get to see how happy they're going to make everyone. Because they are so delicious. If you haven't had them, I recommend it. Super simple. No bake. Um, she usually also, well, I know this year she's making thumbprint cookies, which is where, I don't know exactly how you do it, but you make the cookie and then you take icing and make like a thumbprint in it. And um, Russian tea cakes, which are like little white balls like this as well. Any cookie is fine. But definitely if you're looking for some holiday traditions, I would say cookie baking and bringing it over to whoever you're celebrating it with. It's a great idea or make these any time of year because they're freaking delicious I gotta ask her how she dipped these because my method my method's a little whack <laughs> there's a lot of almond bark everywhere do you see yeah, you guys can see some little bits of Oreo are coming off oh well I'm gonna learn and it says you have to keep it in an airtight container in the fridge which I wonder why it has to be airtight Maybe because it's not baked stuff I don't know man some of these are really like it looks like it's sitting on something let me try and get a little bit off it's just like if if it's too close, then I start ripping the cookie off. So that was the first. This is the second. This one's really bad. These cookies I started just getting so lazy with. I was like, screw it. We're just plunk, we're just plunking them on. at these. <laughs> be funny if I just left them like that, right? Yeah, you get some extra icing. I'm so happy. And I also think you can keep a little bit of, because you have to um, basically like break down the Oreos into like a fine powder. You can use like a food processor or roll it and put it in a bag and roll it or whatever. Um, you could keep a little bit of that and sprinkle it on top after. I think that would have also been a good idea, but I didn't think of that till it was too late. But yeah. So there they all are. It literally fits perfectly. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to clean up and then I'll be back, guys. How do I turn? So I'm just going to be chilling here with Louie and Wiggs whenever she gets done eating. It's just me, man, Christmas Eve, 2017, by myself, y'all. It's fine. I mean, everyone's with their families, and I could have went with my parents, but I feel like someone that actually really wanted to see that movie deserved that seat instead of me just being there like, um, yeah. So, not that I don't like Star Wars, I just have never really watched it or followed it, so it's more my dad's thing. But anyway, so I'm going to be watching some YouTube on the Roku is my new favorite thing.
I'm not signed in or anything, so I don't know what these recommendations are. <laughs> I don't know how it's coming up with them. Well, let me turn this shit around, y'all. But yeah, so just watching some YouTube on here. It's funny watching my videos on here. Like, ooh, I'm on TV, but I'm not. So yeah, if you guys don't have a Roku, I would definitely recommend getting one because you can put Netflix and all sorts of shit right on your TV. So yeah. Of course, I listened to one thing of live Christmas music, and now all my recommendations are live Christmas music. All right, guys, so I am in my running clothes. <laughs> I was going to say gym clothes, but I'm not going to the gym. Um, this will be, I'm actually working out uh, two days in, two days in a row is, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been chilling so much. I'm like, how do I communicate what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah, I've been chilling for way too long. It's like 1 o'clock now, and I need a bus to move. My friend just invited me to her like family Christmas Eve party tonight, and they're going to be here at 3.30, and it's like going to be almost 1.30, and I haven't worked out yet. Um, I work out every other day, but since tomorrow's Christmas, I'm working out back to back. I worked out yesterday, I'm working out today, and I don't feel like going to the gym so well I actually don't have time to go but <laughs> I didn't really feel like going so I've been chilling so now I'm gonna you know go on a run and do like squats and stuff around here I have like a workout routine at the gym and then a different one if I'm staying home it's like my quick workout routine but yeah this is what we're wearing Josh actually got me some new workout stuff for Christmas I'll have to show you that eventually but yeah, so I'm going to go on a run. I'm not going to have much time to vlog or edit. <sighs> but yeah, let me let me get going. So I just got back from the run. As you can see, I'm not kidding here, people. Um, I didn't do very much today because I am on a bit of a time crunch. I literally have to be like all put together ready for a party in like an hour and a half. So yeah. Sorry, I like thought of something and I had to send it and I like had to text my friend really quick while I was thinking about it. Um, so I have one of these big, I got this out Victoria's Secret, but I mean, you don't need it. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, you don't need like a pink cup, but just like a big cup, hydration is key. I want to talk to you guys about a few things that, um, sorry. <laughs> Um, I was really upset on my run because um, I was running and then I saw something in the street and I realized it was a dead squirrel and I've been seeing so many dead squirrels on my street lately. I live on like a private road so you know there's a lot of wildlife and stuff it's not like a subdivision you know it's like we're right next to like a forest <laughs> so you know you always have to be cautious of that and I've just seen like the past two days that I've ran, I've seen so many dead animals and it just breaks my heart because it, uh, it just breaks my heart. But anyway, so I'm running and I come across this squirrel and it looks like his eyes still open and it looks and it was ran over, but its body was still intact. It's just like, it's like its face got ran over, almost like a car, a tire had just kind of nicked it a little bit and realized it hit it and it was just, but his eyes were still open and... I was like, oh my god, is this thing still alive? And then I took a pine cone and poked it and it was he was completely frozen, like rigor mortis, I think it's called when you die. And it just made me really upset. <laughs> like I almost started crying. And I know the person that did it is probably an accident. I would hope people aren't going around trying to kill squirrels. But it just it really broke my heart. I, I just looked into its eyes and I felt so bad. <sighs> Even when I see a dead lizard or anything, it's just the way my mind has kind of evolved. Like, I value all life so much. Like, I don't care what that animal is. Like, it passed away unnecessarily. And I'm sure the squirrel had a family or something. And I just felt really bad. So, um, rest in peace to that squirrel. It was really heartbreaking. Um, 
yeah so and it's just like its eyes were open so I'm sure it got like hit and it was just sitting there like in so much pain and oh, I feel so bad I hope this story isn't like disturbing but it's like reality when you guys are driving just please be cautious of other wildlife just people are, are just so careless and just yeah so anyway I want to talk about that and then also as far as running I've been a little frustrated lately because I used to do cross country and there were days not I wouldn't do this on a week a weekday but on the weekends we were running like seven miles <laughs> like at least five to seven miles and then during the week was around three to five um, every single day like I was running every single day and maybe one day on the weekend and then I would take one day off a week because it is important to have a rest day it's very difficult to run every single day of your life and um, your muscles not hold you back <laughs> you know it's good to have a rest day just let everything rest and take an ice bath and stuff but I'm really frustrated because I cannot get past doing a mile and a half like I'm really trying and for me it's a lot it's like a time thing when I first started going back to the gym I just did a mile and a half it's around 15 minutes for me to do that usually a little less uh, so I'll usually go a little bit over and no more than like 1.60 of a mile and I do that for time's sake because I don't want to spend all day on the treadmill like I do want to do machines and stuff but I see that it's transferred into my running outside of the gym because I just can't get past that threshold you know what I mean like to run two miles would be like the death of me and it's really frustrating because I know I can do it I know my body can handle it but I, it's just something I can't do and it's it's been really frustrating so I just want to talk to you guys about that. I'm I'm really trying. I, you know, it's very important not to to push yourself each time as a runner or just working out in general. If you keep doing the same thing over again, you you will stop seeing results, um, or no, you won't see any results at all. So, it's important to push yourself. You know, whether it's just doing an extra rep, whether it's doing an extra point ten of a mile, whatever it is. But I can't even do that, and that's where I'm getting frustrated. But yeah, so I got to get ready. Um, probably going to drink another one of these real quick, not talking so I can actually finish it real quick because I got to get ready. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go and take a shower and everything. I got to get ready for um, my friend's little family party and then maybe I'll check back in after that. So I just um, got out of the shower, did my makeup. While I do my makeup, I like to watch YouTube videos like a lot of people, but not beauty videos, usually like vlogs and stuff. And I saw Trisha Paytas had um, uploaded like a Christmas Eve eating 7-Eleven foods in her car. And I felt really bad watching that. Um, I feel bad because she said she was having issues with a friend and um, not having a great Christmas. And I can definitely relate. I've <laughs> this Christmas is is not uh, has not been perfect, but I can definitely relate um, on you know during this time of year a, a lot of shit happening and trying to be really happy and not. So um, yeah, so I gotta pick out my outfit now. But just letting you guys know if you're not in the best mood on Christmas if you have like you know stuff going on because life even though it's Christmas and it's a jolly time of year life still goes on and you know if you're an adult you're not a kid anymore and you have real real stuff going on by the way I have a thing on <laughs> you know you're not like an oblivious child just waiting on your presents anymore you got like real shit going on and just a word of encouragement to you guys if you're not feeling the best during the holidays for whatever reason, if it you associate it with something or you're not where you want to be or you're having an issue with a friend or a loved one or whatever, just know that I, I honestly think it happens to everyone and um, to just talk about it and be positive and yeah. So I'm going to get my outfit and finish out the vlog. Okay, so we're ready to go. It turns out it's, she's literally wearing pajamas. <laughs> I don't want to wear pajamas. So I'm wearing um, a tie-dye shirt I got at Victoria's Secret. Of course, you can freaking make a tie-dye shirt. You do not need to spend what I spent on this shirt for tie-dye. And then some leggings that I always wear. <laughs> 
Anyways, hope this vlog wasn't too boring and you guys were able to enjoy yourself. This has been my Christmas Eve, just chilling. I literally just got a call from my parents that they have just got out of the movie. It's 3 o'clock. They've been gone since like 11. So anyway, <laughs> the new Star Wars movie. So gonna go chill and uh, wake up super early for Christmas and once again happy holidays Merry Christmas to you guys and your friends family and loved ones um, yeah so I'll see you next time I've got some videos planned I'm super excited for they're kind of um, more serious videos of topics I wanted to talk about so be looking out for that within the next week and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye